You will now see how users are managed, how a master recipe is graphically created using the equipment phases or EPHs created in the engineering system, and how orders are created and batches started. In the first sequence, stored recipes are read in, and you will then see a brief overview of user management. In the second sequence, a master recipe for producing piccata milanese is developed. In the third sequence, an order to make a batch of piccata milanese will be planned, released for production, and started. In particular, the various options for user control in the Batch Control Center and on the OS are highlighted. In many processes, there is the need to limit the access of each system user to specific functions. A user access management function called Sematic Logon is available with Sematic Batch that enables you to easily assign the proper system access to each system user. In Sematic Batch, this is achieved by defining roles for which specific operator options are enabled and assigning Windows user groups to these roles. In this example, the currently logged on user, Mike Bauer, is assigned as a member of the Super User Group. Mike is also a member of the Windows Logon Administrator Group and is therefore authorized to make this assignment. Because Mike Bauer has been assigned to the Super User Group, he is now authorized to perform all operations in Sematic Batch. The next step is to read in the supplied Master Recipe database. This is done in the Batch Control Center. The recipe database is stored in the engineering station as an XML file. The XML file format was chosen because it's a text format and will be supported in the foreseeable future. The message that the process cell data needs to be updated is acknowledged. During the master recipe database restore, the user data is overwritten. For this reason, Mike Bauer must be redefined as a batch super user. In a real plant, there are normally more than one user, and each user will be assigned a special role with specific access rights. In this example, we will just define the one user. The process cell is now updated. During the update, the batch data in the engineering system is compared to the data currently in Sematic Batch, and if necessary, the data in Sematic Batch is updated. The two supplied recipes are sample recipes that will be used in the section from equipment phase to recipe. In this example, the master recipe required to produce piccata milanese will be created in Sematic Batch. The master recipe is designed to make 2.9 kilograms or product. The ingredients needed to make this product are oil, pasta, herbs, and tomato sauce. The individual steps involve preparing the water, cooking the pasta, and preparing the sauce at the same time. The dish is completed by mixing the pasta with the sauce. The input materials used in the recipe and the output materials resulting from production, along with any quality characteristics, are now defined. All required input and output materials have now been defined. The next step is to create the master recipe for piccata milanese in Sematic Batch. In this example, we will create a hierarchical recipe. With Sematic Batch, flat recipes can also be implemented. In this example, the name of the recipe and the name of the product will be kept identical. In keeping with the design of the master recipe, 2.9 kilograms is entered as the reference batch size. To allow the quantity of batches to be scaled, the minimum and maximum batch sizes are also defined. The output material is assigned in the Output Material tab.
recipe editor is started simply by double-clicking on the master recipe that is to be edited in the Batch Control Center. The recipe editor is a typical Windows application with menu bar, toolbar, and status display. Before we start to create the recipe, we will look at some of the important input options available in the recipe editor interface relating to hierarchical recipes. These buttons are used to change the view. A recipe can be created entirely using these buttons. We will now show how this is done. After selecting this button, a new recipe unit procedure can be added to the master recipe. This same button can be used to add recipe operations to a recipe unit procedure. Each column in the master recipe procedure represents a recipe unit procedure. The recipe operations are the blocks in the recipe unit procedure. After selecting this button, recipe operations can be created in the form of a reference to library elements. By selecting this button, phases can be added to an ROP. With this button, operator dialogues can be added. The other three buttons are used to add transitions, parallel branches, and conditional branches to a master recipe. Recipe operations are synchronized with this button. Loops are configured with the last button. A previously created recipe structure will be used as the basis for our Piccata Milanese product. The left-hand recipe unit procedure is assigned a unit using the preferred unit allocation strategy. The pot 1 unit is assigned to this recipe unit procedure. This is the point at which the integration of somatic batch becomes obvious. All the units and the available equipment phases defined in the engineering system are available in somatic batch for creating master recipes without any additional engineering effort. The preferred unit unit strategy is the selected method for assigning a unit to the second recipe unit procedure. Pot 3 is then assigned to this recipe unit procedure. The recipe consists of three recipe operations that are now named one after the other. Each ROP in a hierarchical recipe contains an ROP sequence. An ROP is opened by double-clicking on it. 